Kaduna State Governor Senator Obasani has condemned the torture of 11-year-old Almajiri boy Isam Wazu, who was allegedly abused by an Islamic school teacher in Suleja, Niger State. Receiving the Almajiri students at the Sir Kashim Ibrahim Government House, Kaduna, Governor Obasani was disturbed over the incident of Muazu and those of other children from same Almajiri schools who have suffered abuse. He vowed to prosecute the Almajiri school teacher who abused the children. We are one of the citizens of Kaduna State. Uh, uh, a young person uh, tortured by the man and there who uh, claimed that uh, he was disciplining him and that uh, he refused to adhere to some of the instructions given to him by the Malans who believed uh, uh, it was really wrong and we believe as a government it's our responsibility to protect uh, our citizens. I'm happy today all the children who are from Kaduna, not only the one that was tortured, uh, even those that were also in the same Almajiri school in Niger State, were brought back uh, to Kaduna State. Uh. He added that there is no part of the Quran that supports the dehumanizing torture of underage children, noting that the state has free education in both Quranic and formal education, while lamenting that over 16,000 children are in Sangaya school outside the state. Buna said we will not tolerate parents allowing their children uh, to just be sent outside the, the, the state uh, and be abused uh, because we feel it's uh, affecting or uh, is something to do with their fundamental human rights. And we need to protect the children. Uh, we also have to make it clear to the parents that uh, they have responsibility and government have responsibility. After more than 16,000 uh, children, uh, because in Kaduna we made it clear that we don't want our children or the children of the poor to be roaming the street in the name of Blue and Marjorie in Kaduna State. However, Ubasani expressed commitment to preventing child abuse and zero tolerance for parents allowing children to beg on the street while calling on Islamic clerics to preach to parents on the danger of sending their children outside the state to school. In terms of uh, enlightening the families, so that for them to know there is nowhere in Holy Quran that was stated that you have to take a child to somewhere to learn uh, Quran. You can learn it even in your house. You can learn it even in Kaduna. So that is the most important thing. So I think our Islamic scholars have a bigger responsibility to educate the parents. That is the most important thing. So Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.